Hello and welcome to another exciting edition of Adam's Music Boxer. It was on this day that in the UK, Alice Cooper's School's Out hit number one and it remained in the top 10 at that time in the US. It was a huge international single uh, because let's face it, 99% of kids hate school and they needed a song and Alice Cooper provided it for them. And that really gets to the whole sort of philosophy uh, behind what Alice Cooper did. Because on the one hand, he was the pioneer of so-called shock rock in terms of the presentation, in terms of the name, in terms of the stage show, in terms of the, the subversive content of some of the lyrics. But on the other hand, there was some Something very warm and cuddly about Alice Cooper, even when he was doing fake beheadings and, you know, wrestling with snakes and all of that. Um, there was something about it that was, uh, on the one part, it was very modern and very shocking and very revolutionary. On the other hand, it was comfortably kitsch and almost PG-13. And... I think the reason why there was this duality and th there remains this duality to Alice Cooper's persona and stage performances is because behind all of the theatrics, he was a really nice and normal guy. And no amount of makeup in the world can hide being a nice guy. And I think that's what made people so attracted to the music because it wasn't negative, even though it had all of these shocking elements to it, even though it was rebellious, Rebellious, like the song Elected, which is quite rebellious against the political system. I'm not sure if that's in the news this year. It might be. Uh, but so much of what he did was all about sort of the fun side of rebellion. And it was sort of rebellion where no one gets hurt. And I think that that throughout his long and varied career that has had so many resurrections, that's one of the key things about Alice Cooper. Now, we might not necessarily have Alice Cooper if Frank Zappa didn't sign what was then the band Alice Cooper um, late in the 1960s. And he said the reason he signed them is that he couldn't really figure out what they were up to. He didn't get what they were all about. And he said, that's a good sign. And that's what led Zap led Zappa, Zeppelin, having a Joe Biden moment. That's what led Zappa to signing them. And I think that's a really good way to look at things. If it's something new and novel that you don't understand, but you know something's there, that's really good motivation to not only sign an act if you're a record label owner, but to listen to something. And that is indeed why a lot of people listen to the Alice Cooper band from the late 60s up to the mid 70s. Now it was in the mid 70s when Alice Cooper went from being a band and a persona to being a actual solo artist and he changed his name legally to Alice Cooper uh, to avoid any problems and he came out strong with his first solo album Welcome to My Nightmare another song where he almost kind of sounds like Jim Morrison Department of Youth was another sort of classic Alice Cooper rebel song and Only Women Bleed a kind of very pun filled song Moss masquerading as a ballad. And he went from strength to strength in the late 70s and early 80s. His career kind of pulled back a bit, but then by the late 80s, he was really, really back. Raise Your Fist and Yell, Trash, Hey Stupid from the early 90s showed that he was a force of nature that had really come back, embracing the sort of modern sound of the late 80s with the big drum sound and all of the rest of it that we always talk about as that uh, evolutionary development. And he hasn't really looked back since. He's a legacy act now, but because the stage show and the persona is such a part and parcel of what it is, is he's kind of the act that will never really grow old because it's all about the theatrics. It's all about the vibe. It's all about getting lost in, frankly, the theatricality of the whole vibe and escaping. And escapism never goes out of style. So long as people have things that are both physically or psychologically motivating them to escape, albeit temporarily and albeit psychologically, you will see that Alice Cooper will be popular, as will similar artists. And he's a really nice guy 
um, does a lot of charitable work, never brags about it, and he's a great golfer, which is kind of funny because he's playing with snakes on stage and he's golfing all the time when he isn't on stage. Very good guy. And all of the people who have played with him will say the same. Like, subscribe. We will see you next time. Take care.